Hello everybody, my name is Kenai and welcome to Pride Lands Gaming. Right now we're playing Learn Japanese to Survive Hergana Battle. Uh, I saw this game on Steam, it was about seven bucks right now. And I was like, yeah, this, this might seem cool, and I read about it, and apparently you legitimately have to learn Japanese in order to progress. So that's what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna be learning Japanese with me. Welcome. This game is designed to teach you the very basics of Japanese hiragana. You learn how to read and write all of the hiragana characters during the course of your adventure. When your adventure is complete, you'll be ready to move on to more advanced Japanese studies. For now, let's begin. Alright, I'm gonna move my mouse off the of screen. It's cold, but it's a beautiful evening. Claire, what are you doing out here? Get out of the snow. Eric, I'm heading to the tavern. Gotta get the chill out of my bones. I'll join you. Come on. Oh, it's an RPG Maker game. I love these games. Oh, it's lovely and warm in here. <laughs> Much better than being buried in the snow, right? You know, I, you know how I am. I can't resist admiring the night sky. You haven't changed much these past few years, Claire. Neither have you, Eric. It's good to know you can always. I can always count on you to come looking for me. You bet. Let's have a drink. Hello. Uh, uh, it's Leon. Hi, mind if I join you for a drink? Um, Leon, weren't you weren't you kicked out of the village? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was just a small misunderstanding. The elder said I stole his prized pumpkins, but I didn't. I didn't steal them. It's all behind us now. We had a good old laugh about it before. But, but you baked a pumpkin pie and gave it to everyone in the village. Exactly, that's baking, not stealing. Wow. It's good to be back. Oh, boy. Such a beautiful day. Clear skies, pure white, snow all around. Simply wonderful. Since I have some errands, I better not tarry. Where should I go first? Excuse me, miss. May I have a moment? A stranger? I've never seen him before. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Tell me something. Do you understand me when I say... <laughs> no? Uh, no. Sorry. I didn't catch that. That's too bad. Oh, God. What's with this guy and the strange language he's speaking? Farewell. Uh, magic. I can sense he's up to evil. I need to follow him. What? Whoa. <laughs> it's too easy to conquer tiny nations like this. There's no resistance. Stop. Why? You can't. You can't do this. I don't see anybody trying to stop me. You could. You couldn't stop me even if you tried. Oh, that smug look off your face. Oh God. This guy appears. You're awfully brave, girl. However, you can't lay a finger on me. You can't even understand Japanese. You can't hope to dispel my magic. Japanese? Is he talking about the weird words he spoke before? Let's see what you can do against my Hiragana warriors. Oh god. <laughs> They're strong. What the heck are these things? There's no way. I can't. Yeah, sure. Punch the letters, I guess. <coughs> oh god. <coughs> oh god, it's useless. Do you surrender? Say your attacks have no effect on my Hedogana warriors. The only way you can defeat me is if you understood my language. We will never learn Japanese. It's time to finish this. Goodbye. Mother of god! There's nobody else in my way. This village is as good as conquered. Time move on to the next helpless village. I can't believe this, he's so strong. Instead of defeat him, I need to learn Japanese. Hmm. Several weeks have passed since the dreadful events in the village. Claire, our heroine, has spent countless hours helping rebuild the village. The mysterious Japanese mage left many of his Hiragana warriors roaming the lands around the village. Claire has come up with a plan to defeat them. Okay, everybody, today is the day we begin to fight back against the Hiragana warriors. I have spent a long time researching this Japanese language that we need to learn in order to dispel the mage's magic power. Once we start learning the language, we can defeat the Hiragana warriors that have invaded the land. I sent a letter to the capital. Which letter? <laughs> Asking for help with our challenge. The Great Library is sending us one of their best scholars to aid us. Oh, it looks like she just arrived. Hello. Hello, you must be Misaki. I'm Claire. It's great to meet you. Hello, Claire. 
I have been informed about your situation. Thank you for coming to help us. You're very welcome. As you've probably heard, I am Japanese, just like the strange mage that caused the damage here. Please don't think we are similar. In truth, he is an evil magician named Naburo. My people have been trying to defeat him for generations. As you have gathered, the only way to destroy the Hiragana warriors he summons is using knowledge of the Japanese language. Starting today, I will be your Japanese teacher. Thank you. Please teach us everything you know. Gladly, first, let's head inside some more warm. Oh god, here we go. Let's get started. Thank you for volunteering to learn with Claire. No worries. I don't want to see this town in trouble ever again. I'll learn Japanese to take down every single one of these Hiragana warriors. Thanks, Eric. I knew I can count on you. You can count on me too, you know. I want to learn Japanese and travel to Japan in the future. Good idea, Leon. Japan is an amazing place full of beautiful scenery and wonderful people. And lovely ladies, I bet, this guy. Jeez, Leon, keep focused. Sorry. Okay, attention, please. Firstly, I'm going to give you a rundown of what you'll be learning. Please pay attention. I want to make sure that you have a notebook and pen handy. Taking notes is the first step to success. Shit! Uh... Oh, okay, I always have a pen nearby, but I need my notepad. Notepad, come here! Okay. I write everything in my notepads. I have like 30 of them in my room. I have horrible, horrible memory, so I use the notepads to remember everything. Let's do this. That means you, player, go <laughs> get a pen and notebook, I'll be waiting. Now an introduction to the language. A Japanese language has a unique writing system made up of three different types of characters. These sets of characters are known as hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Hiragana is a basic set of characters, and by using hiragana you can form almost any sentence in Japanese. We will be focusing our efforts on hiragana during your adventure. The two character sets are a bit different. Katakana is, is used almost exclusively to represent words from foreign languages. Kanji is a complex character set borrowed from Chinese picture symbols. Kanji is quite advanced, but learning it is very rewarding. Back to hiragana. There are 46 basic hiragana characters, and each one is used to represent a unique sound or syllable. You can also make an additional 25 hiragana characters by adding small strokes to specific characters. We will learn this as we go. Learning a new character can be daunting if you begin to feel overwhelmed. Take a break and come back with a refreshed mind. With the persistence and bravery, you can learn all the hiragana. Remember to take lots of notes as we go. Revise your notes every day, and you'll soon come commit all the hiragana to memory. Oh, God. Okay, get your notebook and pen ready. We'll learn the first five. Okay. Everybody, make sure you have your pens ready. This is uh, Learning Japanese with Kurai and the game. <laughs> we'll go through each character individually and teach you how to write it and pronounce it. At the end of this chapter, we'll have a quiz, so do your best. Oh, this is awesome! It's like literally a class. Sick. Okay. After the quiz, we'll travel outside the village to fight some Hedekana warriors. First five characters are known as the short vowels. These short vowels are A-E-I-O-U. Okay. As you can see, I've written them above. Go through them one by one. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna jot these down. As somebody who can barely write shit in English. Oh god. Alright, writing, 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 writing. God, dude, this is legitimately, like, an art form. Okay, I think I got that right. Ah, okay. Yep. So that's this one. A. Ah. Ah is a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. Alright, hold on. Can you do that again? One more time, okay. Okay, so you do the side swipe first. I did the long line going down first. Okay. A your turn. It's a good idea to write the character multiple times. Write in large. Or small and large, get it perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna try it a few times. Okay, to the side, down, and then this little shtick. Okay, I need to round that out better. Okay, so like that, and like that. No. Eh. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to actually. I'm trying to actually learn this. So. 
bear with me here. Okay, so... No! Why do I keep doing that? Stop that. Okay. Across. Down. And then the little swirly dingy. I make that way too close to the base of the thing. Okay. Across. Down. Over. Shit! Across. <laughs> down. And then... That. That is hard. Okay, I got it. Or the line is curved. You should draw the character in three separate strokes. I want to see the writing animation again. One more time. Okay, so it's across, down, so. Across, down. Okay, I want to see it one more time. Cross, down, back and around. Back and around. That doesn't look any better, but let's keep going. Ready for the next character? E. Okay, so. Okay, so I is E? Oh, okay. Let's practice. Okay. All right. You guys should be doing this too. Don't don't be making me look the fool by only making me do it. Oh, okay. So I don't got to do anything weird like that. I just need to like that and then down. All right. One more time with the writing animation. That's going to be the hard part for me, is learning how to write it. Why does it look like it has a little hook in this one, though? Okay, so it's... Down, like that, and then like this. Oh, they're both slightly curved. So it's like... Okay, so it's like this and that and then that I guess that would be how it is all right let's continue next character is ooh okay sorry guys I'm writing this shit down short vowel Oh, that's much more simple. So it's just, it's just like that, and then like this. Yeah, that that's an easy peasy one. Okay, so it's just like that, then this. Oh god, I made that like horrible. Okay, like that, then like this. God damn it, that like this. That is much better actually. Okay, let's continue. This character, e, it's e. Okay, makes sense. It's pronounced e. Oh my god. Okay. Short vowel is practice writing it. Oh god, this is gonna be. Okay, so it's a little line. A little line on top. Alright, so a little line on top. Then like a seven. And then like a squiggly line come out of the seven. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so line over the top, little seven, and a little line coming out of it. Yeah, I could do that one. Wait, so that was that was E, right? Yeah, it was E. Well, eh. So we're different character. Oh. Okay, so that one's also kind of self-explanatory. Oh. For vowel. Oh God. Okay, let's practice writing this freaking crazy thing. So it's a plus sign and then like a little crescent moon with a little dash line pointing to the top and bottom. Okay, okay. Uh, 
plus sign with the high top, a little edge off the bottom, and then a curved line going off the top, and then a little line kind of connecting the, um, not connecting it, but pointing toward the cross on the T and the curve line after, uh, at the base. Okay, let's try it one more time. Like that. Like this, and then like that. Okay. I got you. I can, I can do this. We can do this. We're all learning this together. Alright. Wow, we've covered the first five Hitagana. Oh my god. It's five characters, A E I O U, form the basic vowels of the Hitagana system. Think of them as the equivalent of English A E I O U, respectively. Got it. I bring this to the end of our lesson. Would you like to save your progress so far? Yes! Okay. We obtained the study guide one. Use this from the items menu to quickly revise this lesson. Oh, great. That's actually really good for me. How did you go with the lesson? Good, I think. Seems like a lot to take in. Yes, I've given you quite a bit of information to remember. The best thing to do is practice writing and saying characters out loud. To be sure to get the pronunciation perfect, as it will play a big part in forming Japanese words. Misaki, I have a couple of questions. Yeah, me too. I'm happy to answer your questions before we do a quiz. What do you want to know? Well, so far I learned five characters, but it doesn't seem like I can make any Japanese words using these letters yet. What gives? Well, the letters we have learned are all vowels. In order to start making Japanese words, you need to learn some consonants as well. You will form some in the next lesson. I'm having trouble writing the characters out. They're way different from English letters. What do I do? Practice makes perfect. The l order of the characters is probably the most important part of writing. Later on, you'll be able to review the lesson, so watch the animation once more and memorize the order of the strokes. All good. Okay. First quiz. I needed to quiz you on what you've learned before I send you out to fight Hedagana Warriors. I have to make sure you're ready. Okay, here we go. Question one. What is that character? Okay. That one... That one's A. That one's A. Yes. Okay. What is this character? That one... That one's the one with a little seven squeaking out of it. That's E. Alright. What is that character? Uh, that's the one with... That's the easy one. That's the little C. That's... U? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's U. Okay. What is the character from the Linkage value? Oh. Oh. Uh, uh... That's the one with the... T cross... Yeah, that's the one with the, the... It looks kind of like A, but it has that little thing on it. Yes. What is the character for the English owl vowel I? Uh, that's the two lines. You complete the first quiz. Wow, I didn't even need to look at my notes! Alright, awesome. You ready to challenge the Hiragana Gunner Warriors in battle. Better gonna worry you're surrounding the village are fairly weak. Using the knowledge you have now, I'm confident you can defeat them. We'll go after the bigger and stronger Hedder Gunner Warriors after future lessons, one step at a time. Okay. After our first fight, that'll be the first episode. Time to explore the world! If I want to use the WASD keys and move these options. From the main menu, you can view your character's strats, equipment, and armor. Use items, the most important. Save your game. Make sure you save your game before quitting or you will lose your progress. If you lose a battle, you will have to reload from your last save point, so make sure you save often. Good luck. Okay, I'm gonna save right now then. Oh, this game is good! Alright, let's do this. I can sense that are gonna worry nearby. Everybody be on your guard. Oh, shit. Okay, the first one is O, the second one is U, and the last one is A. No, Eric, Leon, be careful. Why are they attacking them? Don't be a dumb. Stay back. You can't just attack them head on. Uh oh. Eric and Leon were kidnapped by the foe. Two of the hit are gonna warrior sled carrying Eric and Leon with them. Oh no! Stay calm. Listen carefully to my instruction. I'll only be able to take down this one. In order to defeat the hit are gonna warriors, we have to use our Japanese knowledge to hit them with our matching letter or character. So that one's A. For example, we're fighting against the letter. Yeah, that means you need to hit. It with A, the equivalent. Okay. That's it, yeah. When it's our turn to attack, select English from the command menu, then find the right letter to use and select it to attack. If you get the right answer, you'll damage the enemy. If you get the wrong answer, the enemy won't take any damage. We have to keep hitting the enemy with the correct answer in order to defeat it. Got it. 
In battle, you will take turns with the enemy to deal damage. As Misaki said, you will only damage the enemy by selecting the correct answers. However, the enemy can do damage to you much easier, so be careful. Your characters have health points and magic uh, at the bottom of the screen. HP is health points. By taking damage reduced to this, when it hits zero, you are knocked out. To restore, yeah, okay. Magic points, support skills. Yeah. Your characters will learn more support skills to get stronger, win a battle to earn money and experience points. Develop your characters and improve their stats. Okay, so fight. Answer. That one's A. Answer A. <coughs> ah, you cheeky little bastard. I'm just trying to make sure that they don't move around on me. <coughs> Got him. Oh, they're so cute with a little dance. <laughs> We did it, good job. But Eric and Leon, they got captured by those Hedogana warriors. Let's go for them. They can't have gotten far. Okay, let's explore the forest and find them both. Oh god. They're probably drinking a pan. Drink one of the raw moon to restore your health points. Don't be afraid to use it in a pinch. One of us falls in battles. Use one of these revives and they'll bring us back to the fight and restore HP. Okay. So. You can use these or any items during the battle, or you can use them in the field before they escape. Yep, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna guess left and right, choose a path, get a guy. Yeah, okay, so there's a sprint. Oh, shit. Alright, that's the letter A as well. Wait, we can't leave until we find Eric and Leon's from back. Oh, what? Okay, well, I thought that would be different. Oh. Oh, uh, that's the letter U. Yep. Damn it. That's a little you again. I love the music too. This game's music is pretty sick. Oh. Damn it. Oh crap. You were I? I think I'm pretty sure you were. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Do it, yep. Where am I? You got captured by those head of gun warriors. Like you managed to find you. That's awkward. Are you okay? Are you injured? I'm a little bruised, hurt my arm a bit. Well, we'll take it so you hang back for now. Clear enough, we'll take on any foes we encounter. All right, hey, thanks for rescuing me. That's what, let's go. Wait, do we have to go in here? Is there anything in here? No. All right. Oh, damn it. Uh, you were you? Ugh, what happened? You got your butt kicked, that's what happened. How embarrassing. Do you feel okay? Are you hurt? I'm a little hurt. My leg is killing me. We'll take it slow. You hang back for now, Claire, and I will take care of any foes. Okay, thank you for finding me. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Let's go. You still if you hit again on warriors to clear out around here. We should head to the f exit. Check out enemies are beyond. Okay, let's pick away north and defeat enemies along the way. Eric and Leon, hang back and watch how we do it. We'll do. Roger. Okay. Alright, that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, thank you everybody so much for watching. This is a pretty interesting game. You have to literally 
learn Japanese in order to fight the enemy. So if you don't learn, then you'll lose. And I think that that's a really good aspect to a, to a teaching game like this. Not just that, but it's made on one of my favorite like old school-ish game engines. And it actually has a storyline to it, so it's not just sit down, learn from book kind of thing. And I really, really like that. So if you want to see more of this and um, want to uh, want to be with me on the process, go on ahead and uh, put that down in the comments. If you do not, then I probably uh, I probably won't. Go on ahead and give me your um, give me your outlook on it. Do you want to stick with me and learn Japanese using this game, or would you rather I stick to other games? Completely up to you guys. Anyways, I will see everybody in the next episode. Bye!